fresh air. Hey, Cyrus, what your folks and your girlfriends wouldn't give for some of that right now, huh? What do you want from us? Ah, cheer up, kid. Aren't you excited to be back up here on the roof? Shows what you know. He hates it up here, Adam. Insulting the guy who could push you off the roof? You sure I'm the dumb one, Bertie? If you were going to kill us, you would have left us in the panic room with Mom and Dad. Or in the ocean with Holiday. Why don't I play you a little something I recorded? You're going to enjoy this. If enjoy eternity in a box under the sea, Holiday. It's been nice knowing you, but it's going to be ten times better actually being you. Adam, no! Please don't do this! What is that? Close the lid on the box. I guess you could say it's the moment I sealed Holiday's fate. Turn it off! Turn it off! <laughs> Holiday. <sighs> Good times. Goodbye, Holiday. You're gonna pay for this, Adam! Give me back my sister! No can do. But you were right about me not pushing you off the roof. As fun as it sounds, I have better plans for the two of you. So, shall we get this party started? Look behind you. Your fate awaits. A helicopter? Who landed a helicopter up here? Casey. Casey, wake up. Talk to me. If she wakes, I won't let her help you. I'm not permitted to let her help you. Hmm. La 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 la. I'm not locked in a tiny room waiting to breathe my last breath. Really, you're wasting oxygen. Wait! I just remembered! My favorite makeup brand is debuting a new lip shade next month, and I'm supposed to review it on Brainy Brinley! I get a free tube in exchange for my review! This has to happen, people! I cannot die before I get a chance to try Unicorn Bruise! Brinley, we aren't going to die in here. You'll still be able to review your lipstick. You shouldn't make promises you can't keep, Dr. Anders. Badger, what would happen if I went around you and tried opening the door? It wouldn't end well for you, sir. I've been programmed to attack the nine most deadly spots on the human body. I can get to all nine in 1.2 seconds. In other words, Sit back down, James. Will do. I can't believe you're doing this to us, Badger. After everything we've been through together. It's not his fault, Brinley. Underneath Adam's programming... It's it. I've got it. I know how to bring Badger back. Get on the helicopter. This isn't a Whittier Corp chopper, and it's not from the army. No, I had it delivered special for the occasion. Delivered by whom? I don't see a pilot. Oh, excellent grammar. And a good question, too. If you had your microscope, you'd see a slight staining on the copter blades from a mineral found only three places in the world. One of those places happens to be the east coast of Neverland. See? Not everyone betrays me in the end. Cam. When I realized the big showdown was happening here tonight, I put out the call and my sister answered it. Cam, please! Don't help him! Save it! She may have strayed briefly, but Camilla is clearly back on Team Adam. When it comes down to the end, circuits are thicker than water. Where are you taking us? Back to the beginning. Uh, what... what happened? Badger knocked you out because he's been reprogrammed by Adam to watch us die slowly, but you woke up just in time to witness me, the master, Brainy Brinley, in action. Take notes. Can I go back to sleep? Shh! Mr. Anders, you said the badger we know and love is in there somewhere. We just need to reach him. Who better to do that than moi? It's worth a try. Hey, Badgie Bruce. It's me, your once upon a time sissy. I know who you are, Brinley. Do you? Do you really? When you look in my eyes? I want you to see the girl who found you shivering in the woods. The same girl who took you into her cozy, taxidermy-laden house and fed you her famous elk stew and gave you the precious name Bruce Pasternak? Sure, I lied about you being my brother, but it was only because I wanted you to be so badly. You're the closest thing to a sibling I've ever had, Badger. Remember all the videos we made together? The Brucey and Brinny follies? I taught you how to whip a nae-nae even though it went out like five years ago. Remember that? Ooh, watch me, watch me. <laughs> Please, Badger, watch me. Look into my eyes. I know you're in there. Tell me you see me too. I love you, Badger Bruce. Ha, ha, ha. I have a mission. 
and then I must be punished. Are you kidding me? That was so good! I know I was touched. Any chance you have a copy of the Brucey and Bernie Follies on your phone? Maybe I'd actually die laughing. <laughs> it was very moving, Brinley. Maybe it's just not enough. We all have great memories with you, Badger. Remember Jimmy and the Badge patrolling together? I cherish those moments, son. And I do mean son in every way. I feel the same, Badger. And I know Holiday definitely considers you her brother. Don't you want to help us find her and bring her home safely? We can only do that if you help to save our lives now. Ha, ha, ha. I have a mission, and then I must be punished. More creepy laughing? Adam programmed me to laugh when one of you tries to use nostalgia as a weapon. Ha, ha, ha. I have a mission, and then I must be punished. Dr. Anders? I'm starting to feel a little woozy. Sit next to me, Brinley. Try to take shallow breaths. I'm dizzy too. We're running out of O2. Final thoughts, anyone? Casey... Hey now, let's not think that way. Come on, we can't keep kidding ourselves. Nobody's coming to save us. If there's anything left to say to each other, now's the time. Because before you know it, it's gonna be lights out. I am sick of you two resisting me. Get inside the helicopter, now! Ow! Bertie, are you okay? Here, let me help you up. You didn't have to throw me, Adam! Well, you weren't going in on your own. Okay, Cam, we're inside now. You can show yourself. Cam? The helicopter! It's starting up! Whoa, she's not a very good pilot! You're gonna crash us! Cam, I, I didn't tell you to take off! I'm going into the cockpit. Hurry. Uh, it's okay. Don't, don't cry. I'll figure something out. It, it isn't that. It's just... I hate shots. Is that a hypodermic needle hanging out of your thigh? I brought it from home. Mom told me to use it if I needed to. What? When did Mom tell you that? Pancakes. She, she told me to make the pancakes. I don't understand. The other night, I pictured the awesome idea of Gen A pancakes. You know, for a super breakfast? Gen A, the stuff they used to make wit kids. Then that syringe... Contains the last of the Gen A serum. And now, it's in me. Cam, stop blending and show yourself. I can't talk to you when you're invisible. And what was with that rough takeoff? That's not like you. Maybe that's because I put it on autopilot. What? Holiday? Wow, Adam. I almost forgot how good-looking you are now that you're me. But I'm the real deal. And I'm finally home. <laughs>